Chapter Nine of Our Little Spanish Cousin. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Our Little Spanish Cousin by Mary F. Nixon Rolay. Chapter Nine to the Country. Home again. At first, it seemed to Fernando as if he could never go back to school for after his week of fates and processions and fun lessons were all dull things but he soon fell into old ways and there were so many pleasant things at home that he did not pine for seville at all he had a pet lamb what boy has not in springtime in spain and he was devoted to it for a while trying to feed it all manner of things manuel he said one day i do not know what is wrong with my pet lamb it will not eat the things i give it i have never seen so stubborn a thing mazo is far different it will eat anything but the lamb stands and stares at me and shuts its mouth no matter what i offer him lambs are always stubborn said manuel they do not eat much but milk when they are so young but here i have a new kite will you fly it indeed i will cried the boy in an instant the lamb was forgotten and he was skipping down the street his kite skimming the air like a gaily colored bird it was a beautiful spring in granada and fernando spent every minute outdoors unless actually compelled to be in school or in bed the family ate in a lovely patio where the flowers were beginning to blossom and the sun was not too warm to do without the yawning which in summer stretched overhead if it was not kites in which he was interested it was marbles and balls or even a play bullfight and fernando was very proud when he was chosen to be toro and put his head in a basket work affair with points and horns the boys chased him with sticks running jumping and dodging when he turned and charged them as he heard that the bulls did at the real corridas best of all it was time to have his head shaved and of all things that was what he liked his mother mourned for the boy's hair was naturally curly and in winter was soft and pretty as black velvet but all spanish boys have their heads shaved in summer and fernando must be like the rest it was cut so close that it made him look very funny and his great black eyes shone like beads in his lean brown face with no soft hair to soften its harsh outlines fernando and antonio were still devoted friends they played together after school and on holidays and many delightful times did the two boys have either in the alhambra or at fernando's home where there were many city sights as interesting to antonio as to the delights of the old palace were to fernando so devoted had they become that fernando felt very sorry to leave his friend when the time came for him to accompany his mother and sister to their country home generally he had been delighted to go to the hacienda and enjoyed the country school even more than the one he attended in the city but this year he felt so badly over it that his father said never mind my son i shall bring antonio to visit you when school is over and you may have a fine time together at the hacienda this made fernando more contented and he went away with his parents quite happily as they started for the country on a bright may day juanita said oh mamma see that strange cow it's all dressed with flower wreaths and has bells around its neck and flowers on its horns why does that young girl lead it and that old blind man walk behind and blow that horn and beat the drum that is a cow to be won in a lottery said the senora manuel stop i wish to buy a ticket how we spaniards do love a game of chance see i shall buy a ticket for each one of you and maybe your number will win the prize oh thank you mamma both children cried for neither had ever had a lottery ticket before now i wish you to stop 
at a cigar store and buy a stamp for my letter to your aunt isabella and then we will drive on as they turned into the main street leading to the alameda juanita asked oh mi madre what are those people sitting in the streets making haven't you seen the ice cream makers before said the senora no i think you cannot remember last summer can you the gypsies go up to the sierras in the very early morning and get donkey loads of snow and the people make ice cream in those pails with the snow in it they sit right at their doors on the sidewalk and make fresh cream and anyone can buy a glass of it do let us have some cried the children and their indulgent mother ordered the horses stopped while they ate some of the delicious fresh cream and the carriage rolled on down the steep street so narrow that as manuel said one can hardly pass another after a full dinner the swineherd was just coming out for the day and juanita cried oh madre see the man with a pipe in his mouth what queer music he plays what is he he is the swineherd nina see he comes from his alley staff in hand the senora said watch him blow his pipe without turning his head and the pigs come after him as if he had charmed them little and big dark and light fat and scrawny there they come following him to the pasture every alley we pass adds some curly tail to the procession now he is ready to turn out of the town into that grove and see what an army of piggies follow him he never looks for any of them but they hear the music of his pipe and start because they learned long ago that it leads them to good pastures i think they are too funny for anything said the little girl does he bring them back at night yes every little piggy knows his own alley and goes right home with a little frisk of his curly tail to say good night said her mother smiling see those oxen are they not splendid fellows i love seeing them draw their loads so easily beautiful creamy creatures with their dark points and their great soft eyes what is that wooden thing over their heads asked juanita that is the yoke to couple them together they are the gentlest animals in the world these great horned beasts and the driver walks in front of them with his stick over his shoulder which he seldom thinks of using oh what a cunning little donkey cried the little girl as they passed a little donkey laden with panniers filled with flowers fruits vegetables bread fowls and even a water jar how prettily he is clipped all in a pattern mamma said fernando some of the donkeys that the gypsies have clipped have motos and pictures on them i know a boy whose donkey has viva mi amo long live my master on his side i don't like that for if the donkey doesn't love his master it is telling a story his mother laughed we will hope he has a good little master and then the donkey will care for him and not be telling a falsehood with his fur but here we are almost to the hacienda and how short the ride has seemed now if two children i know are good we shall have a delightful summer and although you are to be in the country and thou fernando will go to a country school remember the saying of thy fathers cuando fueres por despoblado no hagas desquiciado porque cuando fueres por poblado iras a lo besado when you are in the wilderness do not act ill or when you are among the people you will do likewise End of chapter 9